What's up, everybody? We got episode two of Daryl Dixon season two today, and there will, of course, be spoilers here in my breakdown, so you've been warned. Now let's get into the episode. This week's episode opened as Laurent is starting to truly realize he's no ordinary kid and those around him, the ones who seem as the answer to their prophecy, are growing impatient. It seems as though he understands their cause, but at the same time, he simply wants to be like Daryl. On the flip side, Carol and Ash arrive across the pond in Greenland as Carol stumbles into some walkers buried in the grass as she goes to take on the ones they attracted with their landing. But the buried crawlers provide issues for the pair, and that's where we meet Hannah and Ian. It was a lot of back and forth this week, though, between Carol and Daryl, which wasn't a bad thing as we got great stuff like this phenomenal family moment between Daryl, Laurent, and Isabel. And it was also hilarious watching Daryl pitch because the, the only throwing motion his body knows since the apocalypse is throwing grenades, and that's exactly what this looked like as he pitches. It was amazing. But the other thing Daryl can't ditch is how much he cares about you once you break his shell, and Isabel has done just that. He's not giving up on trying to get her and Laurent out of this borderline cult until Laurent is taken during the middle of the night, or so it seemed at the time. Then, over in Greenland, we got to know uh, Hannah and Ian a bit, and we got climate activists in the apocalypse. I believe that's the first time in this show, but it's a brilliant twist, honestly, and also objectively hilarious. But at the same time, they've got a let, let's call it what it is, a fucking kill routine going on as Hannah's gonna kill Carol and Ian's gonna repopulate with Ash. It's quite the system they've got. Carol's able to work her mind games, though, with Hannah and get her to doubt herself, so much so that Hannah kills Ian when she comes back to see if Carol's still alive. However, Carol wasn't lying, and she brought Hannah with her uh, back to the plane, only for Ash, who had seemingly, you know, just gotten raped, uh, to put a flare in her neck with one of the coolest kills in the Walking Dead universe. Anyway, back at Mont Saint Michel, it's revealed that Laurent wasn't kidnapped by Maria and Jeanette, but by his own people. They want to keep him away from Daryl, or at least Losang does, as the others want Daryl dead. This assassination attempt on Daryl, as well as Isabelle and Falou, is where the episode title comes from, as it means Red Mill in English, which was a cool part of the behind the scenes interviews. Daryl does make it out untouched, as they took out uh, the traitors from the nest, and he's going to get the girl. Isabel finally realizes the error of their ways and agrees to leave with him once they go back for Laurent. Then the episode closed with Carol and Ash arriving in France as Carol goes out searching immediately and Ash is hanging back with the plane for now as she still has the partial live being uh, her, here for her husband and her daughter going. She stumbles upon some of Marion Jeanette's patrolmen and nicks a little hole in the bag of grain so that she can follow them back to their base or their home without being seen. But once she's there, she gets caught sneaking around and is taken to Jeanette's true base as she tortures her ex-right-hand man for the location of the nun, the boy, and the American. That was another strong episode from this show and it fixed my only problem, if you even want to call it a true problem. That episode one was a bit lopsided in Carol's favor, but there was a great balance between the two this week. And so that'll do it for my breakdown of episode two from Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol. These spinoff shows continue to breathe life into the franchise that I truly once thought was dead. But let me know what you thought about episode two down in the comments below and make sure you have a great day.